Hey guys, it's Sandra from Conversion Minded. I wanted to pop in this week with some social media tips for you. And what I wanna cover is how to know which channels to invest your time in. Because I know this is a biggie, I know it's very confusing, there's so many out there, and you have very little time. So I wanna help you really zero in on the channels that are gonna help your business the most. So I think the first thing that we have to do is I want to give you guys a little bit of an understanding about the strengths of each social media platform. So when we talk about social media, generally we're either talking about wanting to get clients and buyers, sell more products, right? Or get traffic and then build your authority, engage and build your authority, really build your audience. So I wanna break it down by those different categories. So the first one I wanna look at is if you wanna get more sales, then what the platforms, if you're talking about e-commerce, if you're a retailer, then the platforms that I would start to look at are Instagram and uh, Pinterest and Facebook. Facebook, you can have a shop page on there, um, which is really great, great way to showcase your products. Pinterest is also great. People are on Pinterest looking to buy, ready to buy. And then of course, Instagram is definitely a place you wanna be, especially since shopping for Instagram has rolled out. More and more businesses are gonna be able to leverage it where you have links directly in your posts. So definitely for e-commerce, <clears throat> that would be a platform that I would leverage. Now, if you're selling to businesses, your service-based businesses, maybe you're a photographer or a writer or a consultant, a coach, and you need to get clients for your services, then I would start looking at Facebook groups, also LinkedIn and LinkedIn groups. I've gotten a number of clients from LinkedIn. I really feel like that's a powerful tool, underrated, um, I don't know why that is. Everyone's like really into Facebook and Instagram and everything. But if you sell to businesses, you definitely have to be on LinkedIn and really nail that. Um, and Twitter also. I think Twitter is great. It's a great way, especially when you use monitoring tools like TweetDeck, you can start to engage in conversations very easily on Twitter and find some prospects on Twitter. So I think those are the ones that I would focus on based on your you know, different type of business, B2C or B2B, for immediate sales or, or quick, sale, quick sales. Um, nothing is right away, right? Nothing is like happens in a second, but. And then, um, what I would, what I also want to talk about is also for traffic. I mean, everybody wants traffic. So if traffic is your big thing, that's your number one thing that you want to get out of social media, I would say Pinterest, YouTube, and even organic search. We have to bring in organic search into the conversation about social media because those two platforms I just mentioned, Pinterest and YouTube are really search engines. And that's why they, they're such heavy hitters when it comes to traffic. You don't necessarily have to build up a huge following, especially on Pinterest, in order to start getting traffic. So you have to start thinking in a bigger context. When, whenever you talk about traffic, you really the conversation has to shift to keywords and optimizing your posts and your content for those platforms and for search. Um, so those are the platforms and kind of the strategy I would approach for the platforms if traffic is your number one thing. And then for engagement, I really feel like this is also a little bit underrated because you really do need to engage with your audience. Pinterest isn't so great for engagement. Um, you know, YouTube, maybe not so much either, but I really find that Instagram and Facebook, especially Facebook groups, are amazing platforms for engagement. People love to share and exchange on both of those platforms. I've learned so much about my audience from having a, a Facebook group, which you're more than welcome to join. I'd love for you to join. But I've really gotten a lot of insight. I thought I knew my audience. I thought I knew exactly what they wanted, what their needs were. And the more that I'm engaging in there, the more that we're doing Q&A sessions and I'm able to really find out what's going on, what their challenges are, I'm really able to align better what I give them, what I provide in, in all of my content. I have much more insight and I understand exactly how I can help them 
which is going to help you the more that you know that the more you can get very very focused and on what you're delivering in your products and your services to meet those needs so the engagement factor is really really huge you definitely need that so now that I covered that I think the other half of this equation is Social media is a big topic, right? And I feel like you have to break it down into short term and long term. And short term, you want some quick wins. Like you do need to get some sales because that's gonna sustain you. And then there's a longer term strategy that's gonna really set you up for success years to come. So I think for the quick wins, it, you know, in terms of you know the sales, I would leverage the platforms that I mentioned, like LinkedIn groups, Facebook groups, Twitter for B two B, and definitely, you know, Instagram. Reach out to influencers. You you do have to put work into it. Um, Facebook shop pages and everything. Like you have to work to build uh, a little bit of a following on these platforms too. And then in terms of a longer term strategy, you really do need to think about a whole content marketing strategy. Social media really works best when it is part of a larger overall marketing strategy. Remember, social media is simply like the medium. It is an, a, a channel for you to distribute information about both about your promotions and about you know you and I feel like what what people don't really get even today is that when we talk about online marketing we're talking about filling in the gaps that you would have in a one-to-one -one, you know in-person event like so let's say you're networking people have an opportunity you're talking you're able to share you're laughing you're sharing your expertise and people are able to see that you know what you're talking about, they're able to start trusting you and you're building a relationship. And what you have to be doing online is building a relationship too. And that's where this longer term strategy of you really getting behind the content and what you share as it relates to your products and services so that you can start to bridge that gap. And that is where you're really going to see those longer term results, the success, the foundation of your success that is going to be like unbreakable. You're going to, the more that you establish your authority on social media, you share valuable content, you showcase your expertise, the more people are going to start reaching out to you rather than you having to hunt them down. And that is huge, huge, huge. So I would definitely try to invest your time both in that shorter term strategy for quick wins and also the longer term play where you're really building up your visibility, you're building up your authority, and you're making sure that people feel very confident working with you. So I hope those tips are helpful. I hope it gives you a little bit of a guide for where to invest your time, how to split your focus, how to you know start to approach the shorter term goals and the longer term goals, and also gives you some insight into the platforms that you wanna be focusing on first. Have a great week, and I will tune in next time for some more tips.